My friends, it's not about you. What am I talking about? It's about your kids and your kids' kids. What am I talking about? Two words, generational wealth. In this episode, I will break down one key fact, one major factor to help you create generational wealth in this episode of The Seven Figures. What happening in three, two, one, let's go. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. What's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, a direct west suburb of downtown Chicago. But in this episode, I'm conducting a live workshop in Memphis, Tennessee. Just like I did in Dallas, just like I did in Louisville, just like I did in San Antonio, just like I did in New Orleans. We're doing our part to make sure that the communities that have been overlooked and underserved at least have some form of access and exposure to the financial education that changed my life for the better. So in this live workshop, I will break down the one key factor that separates those that create generational wealth successfully and those that don't create generational wealth successfully. So please bust out the notebooks, if you will, because let's get started. Let's check this out. So, <laughs> by the way, congratulate to you guys because I heard that you guys chipped in to get this venue. Yes? So give yourselves a round of applause for chipping in and doing your part. Good job. Yeah, yeah listen, you know, um, I, a couple months ago we read the book Skin in the Game. You guys remember read the book Skin in the Game? And part of, part of that book, the, the, the thought process in that book is you have to uh, have everybody has some form of skin in the game. How many, how many parents here? Right, parents, raise your hands. Okay, cool. Tracy, you have a baby? How old's your baby? Two years old, okay? That's a cute age, right? I have a, a two-year-old son, too. How many of you guys got kids like maybe seven, eight, nine, ten years old? They can't wait for Christmas, right? Ah, Christmas, right? All, all Christmas stuff, right? Anticipation. And you as a parent are excited to give them a present, yes? And give them a present. What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? Blah, blah, blah. Awesome. Boom, boom, boom. And then you get it, secretly hide it, secretly wrap it, right? Would lovingly put it under, underneath the tree, I guess when Christmas morning happens, you're excited to see their face. Their face is excited. Oh, mom, dad, thank you so much. Woo. A week later, what happened to that same toy? Put your toys away. <laughs> uh, I bought that toy. You want it all? You want all over the place now? Why do you feel that way? Why do you feel that way? Because you bought it. You worked for it. You wrapped it. You lovingly put it underneath the tree. You lovingly saw the joy in their face. You kind of fantasize about what they would do and how they would play with it all the time. <laughs> right, right, exactly. They're going to do this with it. They're going to do it that way. And you're fantasizing about it because you put some skin in the game. <laughs> but why don't they fantasize about it? Because they ain't got no skin in the game. See what I'm talking about? So what I'm saying is nobody ever, even from birth, ever appreciates anything they get for free. When, how many of you guys have ever rented a car? Okay. You don't have to tell us here publicly. But do you dog the crap out of that thing? <laughs> Right? Right? All the guys are like. Do you treat a rental car the same way you treat your car? No. Why? Because it ain't yours. Ain't no skin in the game. I ain't gonna change these brakes. <laughs> oh. Okay, before you turn it in, do you wash the car? No. Do you wash your car? Yes. Yeah. Ladies, don't answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, like, uh huh. The husband's like, mm hmm. <laughs> so I, I, I just got my uh, wife a uh, the new uh, the new uh, BMW uh, X7 for for Christmas, right? And in the next three weeks, it turned into a purse. <laughs> What's, all sorts of stuff in here. What, what's going on, babe? It's my car. You gave it to me. 
right? How, how many half drunk water bottles? Oh my God. <laughs> can, can you finish one and then throw it out? <laughs> and then she bought a fresh one. I got a case in the back By the way, hats off to you guys. How many guys are from, from out of town? We, we, we got Mississippi. Mississippi. Awesome. Give them a, give them a round of applause. This is a Keanu Hughes leg right here. So Ruben Sable, thank you for graciously having uh, this, uh, Sherry Spann up here too as well. Who else is from out of town? Who else is from, uh, or across, what do you call this, Tri-State, tri Quad City? What do you call this? Tri-State? Tri Where are you guys from? I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Nice, well, welcome. <laughs> I got all sorts of words. Uh, Atlanta. Hat, all right, awesome. We got Atlanta here too as well. Good job. Who, was somebody from Dallas? Who, who's, who's from Dallas? Yeah, yeah. She had to get better. All good. All good. Very good. Anybody else that we miss out on? Clarksville, Tennessee. Clarksville, Tennessee. Nice. Oh, we're the military base. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what, uh, chances are, for those of you who are here, what, what, why are you taking notes? Because you are putting skin in the okay. game. Because you want something out of this, right? Okay. So the more, th that's why when people say, hey, Matt, do I pay for my agents? Because, you know, it's, it's a temptation, right? I'm going to a contest, da, da, da. Do I pay for the flight? Do I pay for the licensing? Do I pay for the money to get in here? You know what I say? Nope. You know why? You know, skin in the game. They don't value what they get for free. Okay, translate this to your kids. <laughs> this, is the most, this is the hardest part. Because I got kids. My son's 25 years old. Twins are 19. I got George, who's 10. Jordan, who's 2. So I got kids from literally three different generations, right? I'm by the way, I'm done. I'm done. Well, I got the easy part. You know, Sheena's got the nine, ten months. You know? Ten months, right? 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 She got, the, I mean, God bless, God bless a woman's womb. And we'll get, we'll get, you know, anyway, I'm, this is probably not a joke appropriate for the conversation. But ladies have more skin in the game and blood and flesh, right? And, and again, <laughs> right? And so when, when, you're looking at, when you're looking at your kids, so for example, the kids, how many guys would le legit want to create generational wealth? Right? Okay, straight up. So do you think you got to pass on more than generational money to create generational wealth? So you got to pass on the habits. Okay. So, how many guys have ever thought about this? I want my kids to not work as hard as me. Yeah. Ever thought about that? Okay, but do you not want them to? You do. Yeah. Why do you Why do you want them to work just as hard as you? Okay. Okay. Right. Exactly. So, two families: Rockefellers, Vanderbilts. Right? Two families that made America. Right? What did the Rockefellers do? Standard oil. Okay? What did the Vanderbilts do? Steamboats, railroads. They helped build America, right? Between the two families, who's the, who's the, now they were billionaires in their own right in their day. We're talking about the late 1800s, billionaires. Okay? Of the two families, who's the most wealthiest of the two? What happened to the Vanderbilts? They stopped recreating. They stopped transferring what made them the Vanderbilts. So the Rockefellers, what did they pass on? Hey, this is, how you, this, this is what you're going to do, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Vanderbilt stopped doing. So for a, a, a Vanderbilt today is a, um, who's a Vanderbilt today? Uh, Anderson Cooper. Okay? He's a Vanderbilt. His mom is Gloria Vanderbilt. Right? You, you, you guys putting it together now? Yeah. The Rockefellers, don't even know them. But the family Rockefeller document, for example, uh, where is Saturday Night, Saturday Night Life shot at? What, what building? Exactly, 30 Rock. Where is that show 30 Rock shot at? 30 Rockefeller Center. What's Rockefeller Center? The Rockefeller Building. Generational wealth. So as you're building this, by the way, in your notes, you guys are taking notes, write your last name down. Write, write down your last name. Write your last name down. Hear the question right next to your name. What does this mean? 
At the count of three, shout out your last name. You guys ready? At the sound of three, shout out your last name. Shout out your generational wealthy name. You're gonna, probably the first time somebody's ever asked to shout out your name because it's a generational wealthy remembered name. You sign off your name, you're signing off your name because you're, you've established a generational wealthy and recognized name. When you shout out your name, you're gonna realize that three, four, five generations after you, you're gonna know who you are, <laughs> right? By the way, if I die today, if I die today, I've already got it in my trust that my name is going to at least go three generations with what I have built today, which is not much. But right now, I've locked in three generations. So my kids, my kids, my kids' kids, and my kids' kids' kids. Like, I know for at least we're going to be touching the 2100. My money's going to be touching to 2100. My money's going to last for at least another 90 years. I'm adding to that, yes? I'm adding to that. There's a lot of things we've got, we've got going on, but I want my money to last. Matter of fact, inside my will and trust, the ladies in her family are going to get uh, roses on Valentine's. Okay? My money's going to Phillips Flowers. I put money inside a trust, and every year my, my, uh, my, uh, my trustee is going to make sure Phillips Flowers, on the, the ladies in her family, they're going to be a list. They get Valentine's Flowers from me to them every Valentine's Day. Okay? That's just a little thing we're doing for the ladies in my family. Once a year, the fellows in my family are going to get a box of cigars. <laughs> Once a year. And if they smoke cigars or not, they're going to keep it. But they're, they're, they're going to get a gift from me once a year. The ladies are going to get something for me. The, the men in my family, the Sapala last name lineage, is going to get something for me from heaven, hopefully. Right? <laughs> once a year. It's my little gift. I put money aside for that. Okay, I was messing with the kids. I said, uh, kids, girls. If you're walking around the house and suddenly you smell cigar smoke and nobody in your house smokes cigars, just know that's me visiting you. <laughs> Poppy, stop. <laughs> uh, but I plan to have an influence in my children's life long after I'm gone. So with that spirit, if you make an influence in your children's life long after you're gone, that's how I want you to sound off your last name. You guys ready? You guys ready to shout off your last name? Yeah. You good? Good in this side? In this side here. One, two, three. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about your last name? That's your, da that's your daily affirmation. It's your daily affirmation. Many of you guys think that this is just insurance. Many of you guys think that this is just selling annuities. So way beyond that, it's what we do, but that's not who we are. Interesting, right? You see, all wealth building, all millionaire math is just that, math. It's a formula. You do this, you do this, you do this, and it creates this. But, however, it's more than just the formula. It's the mindset. It's the energy. It's the attitude. It's the habits that puts it all together. You see, that's what solidifies your wealth and money through multiple generations and beyond. Because without all of that, you can forget building and creating and passing on generational wealth. And you can't pass on that generational wealth without that one thing, and that's called skin in the game. So before I let you go, please check out this video here about how millionaires think about life insurance. Yes, it's just not for dying. And this other video here, which is one fatal mistake that will ensure you will never be a first generation cash flow millionaire. So that being said, if you're watching this, please drop your thoughts, your comments, your follow-up questions in the comment section below. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our Facebook page, Money Smart Guy, and share with your profile if you feel this impacted you. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, I'm your Money Smart Guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.